What is up, everybody? Nick here from Booster Boys Cards. Back again with another PSA grade reveal, PSA return, PSA re submission return, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. Uh, this was submitted to PSA for uh, April. Uh, it arrived there probably the, the first week of May, uh, but this is under the April special, so $13.99 per card. Uh, and this just came back to us, and it is uh, like the second week in June. Um, so yeah, we have about 68 cards this time around. Smaller sub, smaller than usual, but that's all right because we have a 216 card submission, personal submission coming in uh, for a very good friend of mine um, tomorrow, pretty much. So we're going to get a, a good video on that too, gigantic submission. We're going to be doing a, a grade reveal on Instagram with it. Uh, selling pretty much like immediately uh but by the time this video came out comes out that already be passed so uh i hope that was cool and i hope that it was fun and i hope that we uh were able to sell a bunch of cool cards um breaking you know break breaking news here but yeah there were some cool cards in that submission uh psa 10 gengar psa 10 uh rayquaza all bunch of v max alt arts um so yeah, it's a huge submission. It's awesome. Uh, check out Squeezy, McSqueezies on Instagram. And uh, maybe he's got some cards left over by this time. But with that being said, uh, let's get right into this grade submission here. First up, we have Imperial, who uh, just loves sending cards to us. Uh, he's got five cards this time around. We've got this Airy here. This is from Wild Force or... Cyber Judge. Can't remember. I think it might be Cyber Judge. So we have the Airy here. This one came back at a PSA 9. We have the Piplup here from Dream League. Very good set. Coming in at a 10. Sorry, just changed my lighting on the on the spot. Uh, we, do, we, we, don't, we don't go back and edit this stuff. We do one take, and that's pretty much it. We got the ho -Oh here. This is uh, the Spanish ho -Oh from, uh, again, shout out to Squeezy. Mick Squeezy on Instagram. Check him out. And whatnot. Whatever he decides to sell. Uh, we got the Ho Ho here from Heart Gold Soul Silver Spanish. So he did a box break, a, a, a dual box break for Spanish Heart Gold Soul Silver. So we got some cool stuff there. This is the Ho Ho, the Legend of Ho Ho. A very low pop on that stuff. We got the Steel Energy, Metal Energy, as, as this one says, uh, Steel Energy. Uh, this one's coming back at a nine for Imperial. And then we got the Charizard EX. S-I-R from Paldea Evolved, or I'm sorry, Paldean Fates, uh, in a 10. So very cool. This one actually got an upcharge. Uh, I do get, you know, do get upcharges sometimes. We, we do send everything at the bulk tier. Um, so when a card is above the threshold for the price limit, it does incur an upcharge. So I believe that I've got the $18.99 upcharge as opposed to the $13.99 cost so an extra five dollars for that card to get graded not a big deal um that's a lot of value there so tony m you are up next we got the houndoom here in an eight japanese neo three I think we saw some whitening on the corners and everything during our live grade reveal but we've got a couple yeah, big swirl right in the corner there cool stuff houndoom neo four in a 9, I think he really wanted this one in a 10, but I think this one had a corner issue too. Not going to take the time to look at it now. All right, we got the Mew from uh, Southern Islands. Very cool. I love the reverse hollow on these. Um, I know, you know, Southern Islands is is, is common. It's out there. Um, but I, I just love the the cards that are in it. Or I love the hollow pattern that, that for the cards that are in it. Big, big swirl there. Mew coming in at a 7. The Mew 2, unfortunately, also coming in at a 7. Expeditions, very, very, you know, hard to find. Japanese Expedition, hard to find, um, especially in, in really, really good condition. Seven's still a, a somewhat respectable grade. Eight, I'd be a little bit more happy with. Um, obviously, nine and ten, you, you're looking at uh, some very high value there. And we got this Mew 2 Strikes Back Tops card here. Um, we sent this card out originally it might be in in one of the last videos this one got a no grade so there was some evidence of color addition whatever they call it i don't know what they call it um so what that means is that at some point somewhere on this card psa determined 
or thought they determined that there was some evidence of recol. I'm sorry, recoloration. That's the term they use. So evidence of recoloration somewhere on this card. So usually that happens if there's, you know, let's just take a classic Pokemon card, for instance. Um, if there's whitening on the back of a card, then somebody will take, you know, a blue Sharpie and color in the blue edge to, to make it seem like there's no whitening on it. Um, I don't believe that was the case here. Um, this is not really something that I think anyone would do too. But Tony, it came back, came back a five. So happy that got regraded snuck that one past psa crack and resub please submit again all right jeffers you are up next uh jeffers got a load of hanafuda here seven mario hanafudas all but one all but one got the 10 so these are cool these are like little uh i don't know, like domino size not domino thickness but domino size um they represent these ones anyway represent um i guess months on the calendar so it was very cool Oh, Goomba. I do love this one here. This is my favorite that he got so far. The balloon baby Yoshi. Little tiny red Yoshi there. So, yeah, all but one get the 10. But very... I, I think he's going to be stoked to see that. Unfortunately, he wasn't part of the, the live um, that we just finished up. But uh, I'm sure he'll watch it back. And, and I'm, I know he's going to watch this video back, too. But uh, congratulations, Jeffers, on getting those 10s. 301. Formerly young Poke Trainer. 301, you're up next. Uh, he sent in a good amount of stuff. Uh, some One Piece towards the end. I know how much everyone loves One Piece right now. Um, every time I put a One Piece card in the thumbnail, it, it gets the most views. So we have this SIR here, Iron Crown. Got a 10, a 9, a 9, and a 10. This looks like one of my submissions where I'm, you know, we're submitting multiple cards of the same type. I love it. I love it. Got to cast that wide net, you know? We got Iron Leaves in a 10. In a 10. In a 10. And then the 10. All four Iron Leaves. Congratulations, Young. 301, I'm sorry. Congratulations, 301, on getting all 10s there. Oh, here's a big boy. This one also occurred in Upcharge. Um, the, this card has just skyrocketed so much in price recently. They actually gave this one a, a $75 Upcharge on this. Uh, so this is... The Fusion Strike Alt Art Gengar VMAX. Uh, this one came back to PSA 10. This one's right now uh, sitting around like 700 ish. Uh, it's crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Got a Mew EX from uh, not Paldean Fates. Uh, shiny Treasure EX. Some more Shiny Treasure EX. Pikachu coming in at a 9. Guard of War coming in at a 10. Uh, and then we got. Some Nagaba Eevees, Nagaba Evolutions. Unfortunately, I'll show you guys. We couldn't score tens in all. Um, he said he knew this Eevee was going to get a nine because of the centering, which is unfortunate. Um, but we did get a lot of tens here. We got Vaporeon in a ten, Jolteon in a ten, Flareon in a ten, Espeon in a ten. The Umbreon in a 10. This is probably the, the, the most expensive card in the lot, that Umbreon there. This Leafeon in a 6. And you can see here, it's kind of like a, a small crease or a dent, if you will. Almost as if the cards were stacked on top of each other. So these cards come in a pack, a single pack of one card per pack. So if it was just handled improperly, you're definitely going to, you know, a dent like that is definitely going to really bring down the grade on the card. Um, PSA does take surface pretty seriously from what I've noticed. And, and like I said, a dent in the card is definitely going to bring the gray down a lot. We have the Glaceon in a 10 and the Sylveon in a 10. So those two cards, unfortunately, are just, you know, not doing it, not getting that sequential 10, which uh, which is kind of a bummer. Got the pair of Nagaba Pikas. Very, very cool there. Little Pika Pikas. I love that card. And we got a Korean Leafeon there coming in at a 10. Eevee Heroes 2021 already. Master Ball Haunter. Love that. The Perrin. In a PSA 9. So if you guys didn't know, I'm sure you've seen it everywhere. If you're watching this video, you're, you're pretty pretty deep into Pokemon. This I'm not, not, not too sure how much reach this video gets. But uh, this, this Perrin and this Growlithe here go hand in hand. Very cool. Alright, and then we got some One Piece... So we got the Vivi OPO4 Alt Art. Got the Hayori 
and a 10. Vegapunk and a 10. Nami gift collection and a 10. And then we got the Shanks OPO1 Japanese alt art. Uh, maybe this will be the thumbnail. You never know. So 301, congratulations to you. And uh, yeah, some very, very nice grades here. Next up, we got my part of the submission. We got this Lugia Legend in a 9. I was really, really hoping for the 10. This is such a low pop card. Um, either way is a 9. But um, I believe a 10 is only a pop 1. So that would be very, very cool if I was able to score that. Um, I think it was I think it's just that corner right there that did it. Um, you know, yeah, that's definitely just going to bring it down to the 9, unfortunately. I don't remember seeing that when I submitted it. Maybe, uh, maybe PSA took a little nibble at that, that corner there just to, just to continue that pop control that they do. Um, but I mean, come on for a Spanish Lugia legend, uh, you know, you know, it's not a $10,000 card there, but all right. All right. I'll deal with it. This is uh this is fun. So we got the Bulbasaur here. This is a, a an EX deck promo. So we got the Bulbasaur here in a 10. Charmander here in a 10. And the Squirtle in a 10. I actually took these in as a trade for a, at a card show that I was vending. So, um, yeah, I think this will be the thumbnail for the video. There you go. I'll go back and clip that. Um, but, yeah, I took those in as a trade during a card show. Uh, something that I've just been loving is uh, vending card shows. So I'm looking forward to do more. So we got that Palkia in a 10. Iron Crown in a 10. We got these Greninjas, all three Greninja SR Shinies in a 10. Pulled this on stream for somebody with the Greninja EX SAR, uh, and they traded me a box of V Star Universe. Uh, so I was able to secure that nice little card that I really wanted. All right, now we got a couple Pikas. Fat, chubby Pikas, Golds from Lost Origin. We got 10. We got 10. We got a 9. A couple of Mews. We got a 10. And a 10. And then last, to finish off the sub, we got some Rayquazas. Silver Tempest, Gold. I thought this might be a good buy, especially if they get 10s. Um, these sets, Silver Tempest, Lost Origin. Out of print. Big hype. So, we'll see how they do. Got them for pretty cheap. Uh, definitely not going to make my money back on a 9 right now. This either. Uh, but 10? Yeah, I think I think there's still some meat left on the bones for these this pair of 10s here. So that's why I went for it. Pretty good at pre-grading right now. Um, for my stack, I think we got four, four or five nines out of the 19 cards that I sent in personally. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to pat myself on the back a little bit there and, and say that I'm, I'm doing all right with the pre-grading. Um, obviously, some of them like that Lugia, I got to send in. Even if I did see that whitening on the corner, I would have sent it in anyway. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any interest or any questions in, uh, grading cards, how to grade cards, uh, shoot me an email at boosterboys, uh, at gmail.com. You could DM me on Instagram at boosterboys.com. You can comment on this video and I'll probably get back to you. Uh, shameless plug here. I still have my streaming set up for our TikTok streams, which we love to do. Uh, Instagram streams, TikTok streams. All the pack openings. We got 151. We got the newest sets. Great time to get some Japanese product in because it is so, so affordable right now. And uh, yeah, if you open anything on stream, you could grade it. Doesn't need to go through the mail a bunch of times. I'll send it in. Grade it right here. Send it into PSA and uh, ship it back to you when it's back. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Do the whole liking, subscribing thing. Uh, trying to get 100 subscribers just a nice little first milestone there and then we'll, then we'll go from there but i uh, appreciate you guys tuning in watching the video and uh see you next time